Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I was just about to say, we don't have much time before the laundry starts, but it's too late. The laundry literally just started. I am so sorry if you can hear that. I started laundry and I wanna make Pokemon videos. So, today I've got two Tapu Koko pin collection boxes. I got these from the GameStop sale. Thank you very much, GameStop. They were, what, through $2.99 a piece, I think? Because it was, yeah, because it was 50% um, off the marked price. So, let's get into it. Uh, the reason why I picked these today is because I really want to open some Guardians Rising. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these open. We're not going to do, like, any sort of versus... Um, pack battle type deal with these <laughs> oh my goodness I just sneezed really loudly um, hopefully I was able to cut that out because it was really loud and it was right behind the camera anyway um, I'm not gonna do any sort of pack battle I literally just want to open packs so wow the sticker though the sticker won't there we go um, yeah, all I want to do is open packs. So, I'm just going to open these up and open some packs. The Tapu Koko coin, or coin. Yes, that that's for sure a coin. The pin is very, very cool. I really enjoy those pins. This promo is beat. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's me holding it straight. Yeah. Okay, well. And I don't see a swirl. You guys know how obsessed I am with those swirls. So each um, Dilly Mababi comes with two Guardians Rising and a Steam Siege. Obviously, we're leaving Lycanroc for the end. Lycanroc Midnight Form is my all time favorite Lycanroc form. Uh, here is the code card, and you guys can have that one. Thank you for being patient with me as I get these things open. I'm going slow tonight. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, and I just kind of want to relax and do this for fun. Like, it's all for fun, guys. I just record it on video in case I get anything cool. And also because YouTube is pretty fun to me. So there went the Steam Siege pack. Both of these packs are very strange. They have, I don't know if you can see this, but a lot of extra packaging. A whole bunch of extra packaging. Like, that is weird. Both of them do. Like, look at the Guardians Rising pack. Like, you can't do that with this. But then, like this, it's like, phew, weird. Very strange. Okay. We don't need to go on about that forever, Aubrey. Looky here! Oh my gosh, we got two. Two Lycan Rock packs. Oh! Out of that one. I'm just gonna take a guess right now. And there's the pin. And then the code, I'm gonna keep that one. Sorry, I'm not gonna give you guys all my codes. And then here is this promo <laughs> again. It's, it's not, it's not in good shape. And I don't see any swirls there. So there's our Taboo Cocos. There's the garbage. Here's the packs. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing any sort of pack battle. What have you. I'm just going to open packs because that's all I want to do. I mean, I'm not saying I want to open Steam Siege packs. Oh, and I apologize. Maybe you can't see it. I, I mean, I have cat scratches all over my arms, which you can't really see. And a cat scratch on my hand because my cat, Vincent, decided to attack me while I was on the phone earlier today. But if you can see, like, I have a bit of a rash going on. And that's just a dry skin rash. It is full-fledged winter um, in Minnesota, as you could probably hear from the heat that just kicked on. And I have extremely, extreme, like, I'm just a dry person. I've always had dry skin, that's probably why I don't have very much acne ever, 
but my skin is so dry and in the winter time like I put on lotion every single day and it's just it's crazy I just I drink water plenty of water um, I put on lotion and I'm just dry constantly we got a hoopa reverse hollow rare um, so I, I really apologize and a talent flame if you're like, oh my god, she's got a skin condition. She's like a freak. No. <laughs> I just have really dry skin. And when I put lotion on and it's this dry, it gets even worse. I'm not saying, ooh, we got a green coat or a white coat card. I'm not saying that I don't put on lotion specifically because like it makes me look blotchy and stuff. I'm just saying regardless if I put on lotion or not, that's what happens. So enough about Aubrey's skin condition <laughs> and let's uh, continue opening so this was a white code card in case you guys forgot ooh we got another reverse rare talon flame so a reverse rare out of each box and I'm a Gearna EX very cool why do I keep getting EX's out of Steam Siege I don't know man I don't know I also don't know if I have this card or not so I'm just going to put it in a sleeve. And we'll see. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this isn't a pack battle, so I'm just going to shut up. Okay. On to Guardians Rising. We have four packs of Guardians Rising to open. So excited. I don't know which way the code card is going. Okay. For the most part, when they're in boxes, they go the same way. But you never know. There's always always that wild card that decides to go the wrong way. Oh, I love Guardians Rising. That's why I picked these tin, um, not tins, these, uh, boxes is because Guardians Rising, oh my gosh, look at that. They're super off center, but like fill blower, choice band, those were good, right? Once at some point. Yeah. Stuff will reverse and a swallow. I don't know guys. I just really Okay, now we're down to all of the like and rock packs. So excited. I'm just I love to open Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. They are my favorites. I you know, at first I was like, eh, I'm not really a big fan of Sun and Moon. Mer mer mer. I don't like change. Like mer. <laughs> Now, I really like Sun and Moon. Uh, the only one... Ooh, we got a Reverse Rare Rayquaza. The only one I don't care that much for is Sun and Moon Base Set. <laughs> ah, man. Alright, well... Um, yeah, I'm just... I'm really not a fan of Sun and Moon Base Set. The pulls, the... Eh, the card, like the... Um, oh my gosh. The... Um, the artwork on the cards, I'm just like, eh. And then just, I don't know, just the set in general, like the GXs are cool, but mer. Um, Guardians Rising is way cooler. Oh, why did I do that? Why, why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, Guardians Rising is way cooler. Burning Shadows is super cool. And then Crimson Invasion is super cool as well. I know that's not a popular opinion, but the artwork is, like, to me, unreal. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then the, um, another reverse rare. Are you kidding me? Gudra, Honey. And then Pangoro. <laughs> so many reverse rares. Like, we are opening six packs, and we have four reverse hollow rares. What in the world? Carmen San Diego. I don't know what I was saying, but basically, Sun and Moon really surprised me. And I, I'm sad that it's over. Like, they're doing some Ultra Beast thing now, or Ultra Prism, or whatever the heck. I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, I won't really know until it comes out. But, like, I feel like X and Y was such a huge. You know, like, there were so many sets in X and Y, and honestly, there was a lot of, a lot more than, like, what, four sets in every single other, um, expansion or whatever you want to call those, so I'm really confused. 
We got a Hala reverse, and our final rare for this opening that I've completely talked all the way through is a picture. Oh my god. Woof. That was rough, dude. That was rough. But I, I do like these reverse rares. Uh, we got a Gudra reverse rare, Talonflame reverse rare, Rayquaza reverse rare, um, and then, oops, it was backwards. <laughs> a Hoopa reverse rare, and a Magirna EX. Uh, so out of six packs, we got four reverse rares and one ultra rare. I'm confused, but I'll take it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Tapu Koko pin collection opening. And like the video if you want. Subscribe if you're not. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.